Welcome back to the show. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Synology, specifically focusing on how to optimize your Synology NAS with a customizable script that supports a wide range of hard drives and SSDs. If you're someone who wants to get the most out of your storage solutions, stick around as we unravel the nerdy yet intriguing details behind this tool. So let's talk about storage. In the age of digital content creation, data security, and accessibility, having a reliable network-attached storage or NAS system is crucial. For many folks, Synology is a go-to choice because it offers a blend of performance and flexibility. But what happens when you want to add different types of drives, like SATA, SAS, or even NVMe M.2 drives? That's where today's topic comes into play. Picture this. You've just upgraded your Synology NAS, but it still feels a bit sluggish. Maybe the compatibility settings aren't optimal for your current drives. Luckily, there's a script designed specifically to address this. This script is almost like a Swiss Army knife for your NAS. It identifies your Synology model and DSM version, lists all the installed drives, and even backs up your databases. I mean, how cool is that? But what does this script actually do? Well, it checks drive compatibility, adds any unsupported drives to the database, and even modifies settings to help DSM prioritize reading from your internal SSDs. Essentially, it enhances the performance of your NAS according to your specific hardware configuration. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds great, but is it to run? That's a valid question. Frankly, it's greatly beneficial to schedule the script to run at boot up. This ensures that every time your Synology starts up, it checks everything, updates the databases, and adjusts the necessary settings. That peace of mind, knowing that it's working for you in the background, is priceless. And here's the kicker. The script also allows you to disable some of the annoying auto-notifications Synology might throw your way, especially if you're using older Western digital drives. Imagine not having to see warnings for drives that are three years old just because they happen to be a little past their prime. For those tech-savvy listeners who aren't daunted by command lines, running this script via SSH opens up some more advanced options too. You can even force compatibility checks or tweak how your memory is detected. But let's not get too deep into the technical weeds here. Instead, let's talk about accessibility. Whether you're a novice who just wants to set it and forget it, or a seasoned IT admin seeking fine-tuned control, this script offers a tailored experience. Imagine sitting back with a cup of coffee while your Synology does all the heavy lifting. But be warned, make sure to back up your data before making any changes. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? So, if you're looking to supercharge your Synology NAS experience, definitely consider checking out this script. There's something incredibly rewarding about optimizing your home server to coexist slickly with a variety of hardware. Before we wrap up today, let's reflect on a few takeaways. The importance of drive compatibility, the convenience of scheduled tasks, and keeping your system tuned for performance. I'd say that's a recipe for digital success. That's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to share your Synology hacks or questions with us. Until next time, keep those drives spinning.